So the interesting thing is a party boat is fishing right here. So that's got to mean something. Maybe they uh, know where the bait is. And I guess if you can find the bait, you can find the fish. Well, maybe we'll get a little good karma releasing this dude here. So I'm thinking that the ocean was too rough today. That's why the fleet is out here today. Maybe they see some bait. Maybe there's some fish around. It's also supposed to be really windy today, so maybe that's why they were trying to stay away from the ocean. And of course, I forgot to charge my microphone on this camera, so I'll probably be filming from the chest camera most of the time, but I'm gonna leave this one running just in case. So uh, let's start fishing. I cannot believe I forgot to charge the mic. Let's see what the deal is. Looking for some fluke. But if some bluefish or stripers even pop up, I brought an extra rod with me here today for that. Water temperatures here are hovering a little over 60, which on a nice day like today, it's supposed to be 68 degrees, almost 70. I'm ditching the waders. I mean, it's, it's still a little cold, but feels good, man. Lets me know that summer is almost here. Standing like right in the middle of this flat right now. It's pretty freaking cool. All right. First little fluke of the day on the teaser. shorts but they're crushing that teaser there he goes damn I literally just broke off a whole rig how did that happen it must be a bluefish I'm going to switch out to a 3 8 ounce bucktail. It's really calm right now. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a really good one. That's the best one yet. Feels like good weight. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, that's a keeper all right. Oh, he absolutely inhaled the bucktail. All right, so that fish completely swallowed the bucktail. He was 18 and a half. I really actually wanted to see if there were any bigger fluke in here. He's actually 19. That's a good fluke. That's worth keeping. All right, let's get that nice fluke on some ice. Now we got a catch and cook. We'll definitely be cooking this guy up after this trip. We're gonna try to keep this guy cold. Got an ice pack in the bottom there. Put this ice pack on the top and that'll keep them cold for the meantime that right there is the bucktail the 3 8 ounce with the new penny i think this is the new penny i'll double check to make sure 
I thought for a second I was gonna release them and uh, see if there was a bigger one out here, but 19 inches, that's good enough for me. So I ended up keeping that fish because he ate the bucktail bad anyway. But let's keep fishing. Yeah, I think now we could play around a little bit. Now that we uh, got our fish for dinner, low tide seemed to kill the bite. On my last trip, I ended up catching a pretty nice fluke on this bone jerk bait, the six cents, provoke. And it's really sunny out, so I think I'm gonna test a different one today. KVD Clearwater Minnow. Let's see how that does. It's supposed to dive four to seven. All right, that's about enough for now. Let's have a little lunch. Wawa sandwich. Let's go. There's just no water moving right now. Dead low was about an hour ago. I'm probably gonna wait about another hour and then get a little bit of the incoming. See if there's uh, any more fish around. That's pretty cool. That looks fluke. And just like that, the wind really changed. In a matter of two hours. there and uh, one nice keeper so I call that a pretty good day and it's only gonna get better from now so just got to keep fishing and there'll be definitely more fluke all right and just like that it's time for dinner time right here I decided to make a quick and easy fluke milanese and this was as easy as just filleting up the fluke and uh, dredging it flour egg breadcrumb frying it until it was golden and delicious and then serving it on the top of a little arugula salad with some tricolor cherry tomatoes, a little bit of shaved parm, and uh, lemon juice. That's about it. Kept it really simple and delicious, and we're gonna dig right in. Looks so good. Let's see, fluke milanese. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. Wow. <laughs> yeah, fried fluke is just really good. I'm not gonna lie. It's super simple too. That only took probably like 20 minutes to make from frying the fish, make, making a little salad. Sometimes less is more, you know? Nice, simple fluke recipe, just really nicely fried really light with the salad, you get a little bit of acid from the lemon. Just good fluke milanese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I gotta say about that. All right, everyone, that's gonna about wrap it up for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. The fishing, the cooking, everything involved. So once again, thank you so much for watching everyone. And until we catch or cook something else, I'll see you next time on The Line Cook. See you out there, everyone.